Hello everybody and welcome to Paint with Mark. I thought today we'd paint a beautiful, lovely, sort of pastely bright sky and with a sort of a nice black contrasting tree at the side. So get your gear together guys, get your little brushes. Today I think we're going to use some flat brushes, um, a little bit of thinners um, and this is on a canvas ball today. So I'm using a canvas ball and I think this is about 20 by 16 something like that or a little bit smaller something like that just and I've primed it um, by using a little bit of a uh, white gesso over there and I've let that go dry and the colors that we're going to be using today are phalo blue black red liz and crimson brown van dyke brown dark sienna sap green a little bit of cadmium yellow and a little bit of a uh, white. The brushes I'm just going to use just a, a series of a couple of flat brushes, um, a little round brush, a little detail round brush as well. So with that and I've got a little tiny bit of a uh, thinners in a pot here I'm just going to use to thin the paint down so it's quite watery. So get your tools together guys and uh, let's get going. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use a half inch flat brush and I'm going to dip it into a little, little bit of thinners and I'm going to come up to a bit of phalo blue and I'll put it down here, a bit of phalo blue and I'm going to get some black in as well because I want it sort of quite dark, quite a dark mix, so blue, black, so Make sure it's sort of nice and not too runny, so it's running off, off the uh, palette, but you still want it quite watery. I'm going to come up here and just have a look how that is. Nice and sort of dark. It's a little bit dark. Doesn't matter about this little part here. It's a little bit dark. So I just I grab a little bit of white, mix that in with it, just to turn it down a little bit. Yeah, that's the last colour. And we're just going to come across right across here. Actually, I might add a little bit more black into that. That's, a bit, that's nice. Come right across. We're doing little crisscross strokes. Just add a corner of a brush. It's a little bit more the black and blue. Come across here. It's slightly darker across here come across that's all going to blend in together again crisscross strokes nice crisscross strokes here so forwards and as I, as I work down I'm going to have this coming a little bit lighter so with this I'm just going to add, get a bit more white and put some white in there and again just to corner my brush a little bit more thinners I'm going to come into this, I'm going to add this into it, bring this down, just take this down here and work up into this colour just so it mixes up with the colour. Come right to the edge. So it's all gradually progressing from dark down to light. Here, mix this in backwards or forwards. I go just a corner with the brush, just get a bit more colour, add a little bit more white, just bounce and forwards. Again, I'm just I'm not too worried about the colours. I like it when you, when you mix up the paints. Uh, on here this way you, you're going to get gradual variations of colour which, which is what you want because it will all add to the effect so different graduations of colour coming down and I think that would be nice for that sort of top part and then when I've done that I'm just going to go all the way across one way to the other way with this brush now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add some some um, Elizabeth Crimson and so I'm going to go to a little bit of crim crimson go to it because I want it now to become more pinky. Uh, 
like some blue, so like pinky blue. I'm going to add a, a touch of white so we can see what's going to go on the on a sort of like a pinky sort of side. I'll take this up into there a little bit and I'm going to corner my brush just get a little bit thinner, come across to so down here. And you can see hopefully um, the graduation, put a little bit more red in there so you can see more. It's becoming more and more peachy colour. More ready. Now I hope the video is picking it up. Go corner of brush into some more thinner. Because okay, it's drying quite quick on my board. So I'm just going to run that up there a little bit, backwards and forwards strokes. Coming down, add a little bit more white into that. A bit of red, a little bit of blue, and just the corner of the brush. Again, I'm just picking up thinners all the time, just to lighten it. I'll put a bit more red in there. Let's see it, so it's becoming. As we work down, it's becoming nice. More and more of the red tones. Down the corner of the brush, just to pick up some more. Just working across at an angle. Taking this up. So you've got the graduation of colours, more on the corner, up here. So I've done it all one across, I've sort of angled this up slightly with the colours. Just add a little bit up there as well, just hone that down a bit. That's forwards. Um, so you can see like a nice graduation of colour. I'm going to get some more, add a little bit more white in there. Just the corner of the brush with some thinners again. So I'm just, as I'm coming down, I'm just making this a little bit lighter. Just to here. That's nice. Okay, now I'm just going to wipe the brush. I squeeze it between a bit of tissue. So I wanted that really dark and then I'm going to put some nice bright colours in now. I'm just going to dip it into a little bit of thinner and then squeeze it between some tissue paper. So now I'm going to make a, a nice sort of ready colour. Come up here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some red lizard and crimson over here and I'm going to get a little bit of yellow and mix that in with that and I'm going to add just a touch of white and again just the corner of brush into some thinner and then I'm going to come up to here and start adding some of this lovely ready colour and I'm taking it up slightly into into this just here and there I'm just running it up like so a bit of red a little bit of yellow a bit of white taking this across hopefully you're picking it up on the video we've got a nice red coming in and as I said I'm just going to drift a little bit of that colour up into there just a little bit tiny bit Take a little bit of this up into this just by doing a little crisscross stroke so you've got a little bit of this colour going up into there I think it looks nice maybe pull a little bit out across there just changes the tone a little bit, so it makes it look a little bit different. 
okay and if I come down some more I make it more uh, brighter as we go along so I'm just run a little bit more along here a little bit of thinners a bit of red a bit of yellow a little bit of white and then continue this across here just little crisscross strokes with this brush and now I'm quite happy with that so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make it even brighter than that so I'm going to go into this red put some more red on there and bright yellow that's nice a little bit of thinners and then bring that down so it's becoming lighter as we come along here nice light gradients of colours it really will set this off again when you do yours you're going to have a lot more time you can add more detail if you want to in this I'm just doing this as a, a little demo for you to in, hopefully encourage you to have a go and start painting yourself um, because anyone can do this it's really not that difficult to pick up a brush and just have a mess and just see where it goes it doesn't matter it's just a little bit of canvas if it doesn't work out it's just a little bit of canvas balls but the thing is you'll never know unless you try and it's really good to try because you just don't know how, how good and, and what you can achieve with a little bit of practice so I've put the, this nice little sort of colour in there now so I'm going to go back into just a corner of the brush with a little bit thinner and I'm going to go into some cadmium yellow put more cadmium yellow there touch a touch of red so it's more it's becoming more yellowy and a little bit more white in there just to thicken it up a little bit more yellow a little bit of red um, sort of orangey colour um, I think I'll go even, even a bit more orangey than that uh, yellower than that so this is a more orange in there to tone it a bit more so it's becoming lighter and lighter as we work down and then down the bottom here I'm going to just wipe the brush first a little bit of tissue paper and then I'm just going to get some neat cadmium yellow and I'm just going to put that on the bottom edge here I'll pull it up a little bit for the start of the bottom edge I'm just going to come along here So add a little bit thinner corner. This is just cadmium yellow. I fill this bottom bit in here. I'm going to go a bit of dark down the bottom anyway in a minute. I just want to get some colours in, and I'm just going to pull it up a little bit. So I'm going to get the yellow, and I'm just going to sort of do crisscross strokes and take it up a little bit so it mixes in this is neat yellow and I'm just working up a little bit doing crisscross strokes from here work up just so we've got a lot different hues and tones going on in this lovely sky and just take this up a little bit over here nice okay so now we've got the graduation um, of going from sort of dark to light with beautiful colors in there I'm going to wipe the brush and it's going to be a really dark and then we're going to put uh, some nice few dark trees in there so I'm just going to wipe the brush and I'm going to mix up some black 
ivory black or lamp black and I'm going to get a little, little bit of dark, Van Dyke brown and a little bit thinner put it down on the palette here so black Van Dyke brown it's a really dark colour and then I'm just going to put this along the bottom just along the bottom here so place this on the bottom I'm going to come up about probably going to come up about two inches something like that and I'm not, not worried about keeping this straight because I'm going to put a few marks like there's uh, some buildings and things going on and so we're going to put some bushes and that on there so we haven't got to worry too much don't want to worry about it too straight and just sort of get some sort of line in there actually it might come out a little bit higher than that so it's a bit of black fair not brown and then let's just get some more it's come out a little bit higher yeah something like that i think we'll do Just fill this in. Okay, but I could have left it when I was doing the sky and left it, not to make it so difficult myself, but I'm doing it this way, when I put the black on, it's gonna put, it's got some of this color in the background, which looks like it's reflecting on there, so I'm sort of cheating it out. But I will get some more dark, and just pull this dark in from the side, like so, and I'm not fussed about keeping it nice and smooth um, I'm just literally just dragging it across one side to the other side like so okay and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put some foliage along here so I'm going to use to start with I think I use a little round brush, like that. a little tiny round brush. And what I do, I'll dip it into a little bit of thinners first, and I'll go into the same colour, the black and the Van Dyke brown. And I'll just sort of twist it around, and then over here, I'm just going to do a few little branches coming off and up a few little things twigs and so on lovely and if it isn't dark enough I will go into some more dark just because the base will be very dark and so on and I'm just going to go along and put in a few little bits and pieces, a little bit thinner again, and I'll just add some bits and pieces so it's not a nice straight line. We're going to get all these little bits of foliage, and all I'm doing is I'm just going to touch here and there, little bits and pieces, so on. Just keep continually loading the brush. You can't really see what's what's going on. It's just bushes and a little bit of foliage that's in the background here trees or shrubs again you can't see exactly what's going on so I'm just going to continue to add tree sort of shapes and bushes and things and I haven't got to worry about any sort of too much detail I'll put a few a couple of little twigs and things in in a minute it's got a bit more detail but at the moment I'm not not too worried about putting detail you know too much detail in there I'm just filling it in really just putting a mass of sort of shape just for the dark very lightly here and there and just so it, it just gives the indication that there's bits and pieces in the background, and what I do is to take the eye away from the beautiful colours. So I'm going to add a few more, couple together. And all I'm doing is I'm just dabbing on 
at the top of there and I'm going to add a bit more dark along the base here so I'm going to go straight into some black and at the top here I'm just going to run run this along the line there put some more dark in there just at the bottom of where I've put these bits in there so I black just neat jet black ivory black lamp black doesn't matter really just run that along there so we've got now we've got indications hopefully you can see of just a little bit of foliage and may get my very pointy brush yeah so I've got a little smaller pointy brush so I'll go into some thinners with that I think what we do we'll do a big tree coming up the side here so again I'm going to use some black some brown get some a bit of Van Dyke brown and with this brush I want to put a big tree coming up from the side here um, you can start from the bottom or work from the top it doesn't really matter really but I'm going to have this coming off here so I'm going to come up start up here and this is going to come right off the canvas so a little bit of thinner make it work a bit easier and so we'll start from the top this time coming down And again, don't make it straight, make this wiggle, if you wiggle them about a little bit, it will make it much more realistic if you wiggle it slightly as you're doing these branches and trees. So I'm going to go into some more colour, I'm going to put a lot, I'm going to thicken it up a little bit, up here. a little bit more thicken it up a little bit more thinners if it doesn't if it's not spreading and not working and not covering over on your canvas you just need to add a bit more thinner and it will work for you so each time I'm going to go into a little bit more thinner spin it around and I have quite a few of these branches and things coming off from down here so all these branches coming out Like this and again if you find that it's it's going into the colour and taking away the colour you can just come back in with the dark and put some more dark over the top these ones are very thin whispery bits coming out and I'm going to do quite a few of these so more thinner black and brown and spin this around so it's sort of like ink consistency and you'll find it will flow a lot better. Let's spin this around, make sure we get some colour on there. That's better. Okay, do, do some more. I have lots of these coming out from here. Just lots of these continuously. coming off from the side just keep building it up and building it up again I'm going to keep going into some thinners and just keep doing bits and pieces and you can spend hours and hours and hours literally building this picture up and doing it detailed as you want and just continuously keep doing pieces bits and pieces over and over and the more you do the more detailed at the ends when you do the ends of these guys is that let me show you you do this one let's bring this one up when I come up and I do a little piece coming off I do a little hook 
or the letter Y as I call it, and at the end, and it just finishes it off and makes it look um, more realistic. So I'm just going to continue doing more. Very obviously at, at the ends, they need to be thinner. Okay, when you come to the very ends, and make sure that you do these very thin. So I've got all this whispery bits coming out. Some more. Very small whispery bits that just fade out into the sky. We'll keep going to the thinners. I might put a little bit of foliage, a little tiny bit of foliage on these in a minute. Okay, and make sure you do also some of these. Even I'm going up this way, I will take this and I'll wiggle it over the top of some of the other ones um, because we do want to make it look more realistic and they don't always go one way or straight so sometimes you have some twigs and things that actually run backwards so like up here so we come up this way but some of this could even come across up this way so it just makes it look more realistic obviously if they turn and twist because if you actually go out and look in the real world they actually point everywhere so I'm going to do a few this side coming up and I hope you're joining along with me and having a go at this picture it's a very easy picture to do okay I'll try and make these really easy and sort of do but very stunning so they stand like this one you know really does stand out with the colours and so on and I want this you know, I want you to do this so you get results quickly which inspires you on to do some more complicated pictures but this is a nice easy picture that you can start off doing so I'm going to continue adding ones all coming up but coming off this way and as I said you when you come off to the end you apply less pressure um, because and then the ends become thinner as a lot of my students they struggle because they apply too much pressure on the end so as you come off you release it and it applies less pressure and they, the actual lines become thinner so that's what we're looking for the lines becoming thinner as we come up take this right off across just keep building and building again I want this nice and dark this tree so it really stands up against this I'm just going to go over this again with some more dark it's nice we're getting there do some more I know So, you know you can spend a lot of time putting lots and lots and lots of thin tiny little pieces and basically what I'm doing now I'm just sort of touching hardly at all um, but with the brush and it's just put a few more lines whispery lines here and there across so at that stage I think what we're going to do I'm going to put a little bit of a foliage in there so I think we're going to use a very soft, little soft over, sort of overly brush, and I'm going to go into the make it wet, get in some thinners, and I'm just going to wipe off the excess thinners into a bit of tissue, and I go into the same colour. I'm just going to tap, literally tap, and then I'm just going to tap few of these ends here coming around so I'm working sort of hanging downwards very softly so at the ends I'll start off the ends and just doing a few little bits and pieces uh, just tapping very lightly 
So what I'm doing, just at the ends, and then once I've run the ends and see where I, where I am, very softly I might come in a little bit more, I'll tap into more material, and while I'm all sort of hanging down this way, so I am going to do some more coming in very lightly. I won't get too many, but I do want to make sure that I've got enough, and then I'm going to angle these ones at the end and just by tapping around a bit more as if they're all hanging down this way at the ends here. The weight of them is actually tipping them over at the end like so. Add a few more around here, a bit of dark. And I'll actually tap a few over the tree itself, like the actual bit itself, so which will make it more realistic because you would see some foliage actually over the tree itself. So I'm just going to tap that down there. Uh, a few more coming out there, I think. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Probably. And while I've got this on the go, I'm just going to tap it in the side there and then this one here that I did I'm just going to tap all this around the edge there bring that out and there's a little bit round there and I think there was one here I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger that's it just bring that out a little bit okay guys um, I think we've got a finished picture um, I hope you've had fun, um, and I hope you really do have a go at this picture. It's a, quite a simple picture, beginner picture. Um, it just sort of adds a nice, beautiful colours and a nice contrast to the black. So, I'll catch you on the next video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. It's Mark Terrell from Paint With Mark. Please like, subscribe, and hit the bell button, and share it to anyone you think would uh, like to have a go at painting. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.